this week. Okay. So this week in writing, we will focus on writing sentences with the letter I in the middle of it. Okay. So whenever you are writing a sentence and the word I, like set an I, is in the middle of a sentence, you will capitalize that I because that I kind of acts like a proper noun because instead of saying your name, you would say I. So that I will take the place of your name and it turns your and it turns into a proper noun. So because of that, whenever we are writing a sentence in the, and it has I in the middle of it, you capitalize that I in the middle of the sentence. We know that if I is at the beginning, we capitalize it. But if I falls in the middle, we also capitalize it as well, okay? So that's what we'll be focusing on this week, writing sentences with the, letter, with the word I in the middle of it and capitalize it because that I kind of acts like a proper noun, okay? Do we understand? All right, so I have three sentences here. I want you to practice. The first one says, Seth and I played baseball. Number two says, Grandpa said I could feed the cows. And number three, I love to read books. Okay, you can go ahead and begin, guys. Go over there. Should be done. Shouldn't have taken too long. Okay, Seth and I played baseball. Okay, everybody, number one. How should I write this correct? Capitalize Seth. Capitalize first letter S and Seth. Capitalize letter I. The I. And how do I finish it? The period at the end. Number two, Grandpa said I could feed the cows. Okay, all right. Capitalize first letter G and Grandpa. Capitalize I. Capitalize I. And put period. Insert period at the end. Pretty simple. Number three, I love to read books. Faith, you ever again? Yeah. Okay. I'm not even in shock. She told me that last week. She was doing I've been through that. You can't you can unmute it or no? Capitalize I. Okay, capitalize I. And then insert a period. And a period at the end. Good. All right, good job. Let's go ahead and get out of the letters book. Think we're on page 51 today. You heard the letters. Page 51, you can begin. On 51, you can start. I'll give you a few minutes to work on that. Please take your time, guys, so that you're writing neatly. Your letters are connecting. Throw all that away. All right, so our dictation for 161. All right, so first one. Hat, hat, like you put on a hat, write the whole word, hat, like if you put on a hat, Can you stop talking to me at a time, please? Thank you. 
Okay, how do we spell hat? Okay, Kenley hat. H A T hat. Okay, next word shorter, shorter, shorter. Okay, Dennis, you want it to spell shorter? No, but which row are we on? 161, our phonics and language. No, which row are we on? Oh, the, the first, still the first row, we're on the second box. Okay, shorter. Okay, Naraya, shorter. S H O R T E R. S H O R T E R, shorter. Next one, thinking. Thinking, thinking. What's the next word? Okay, thinking. What? How do we spell thinking? Carson? Is thinking after short? G. Good. Next row. First word. What was it? Thinking. Oh. All right, second row. First word is mop. Like I will mop the floor. Mop. 
Okay, how do we spell mop? Stop biting on that. Naraya? M O P. Next word, loudest. Loudest. Like she was talking the loudest. Loudest. Okay, loudest, loudest, okay, can we loudest, L-O-U-D-E-S-T, okay, and last one, quickly, quickly, quickly.
Me. Sorry, y'all. I didn't know it was on mute. I was teaching that part. My bad. That's why when I'm asking y'all, weren't raising your hand. Sorry. So I was saying how um uh, how we change the singular into plural. So rabbit becomes rabbits, mouse becomes mice. Batch becomes batches, baby becomes baby. So we know that already. But I talked about how some of the nouns it will not change at all. Like moose, the plural is moose. They're the exact same. Moose and moose. Sheep, the singular is sheep, the plural is sheep. Exact same. It does not change. Okay? So some of them, that's how they are. It will not change at all. It will stay the exact same. All right. So let's look at these. Phrases, Sam has a toy. What will be the possessive phrase for Sam has a toy? What are we showing? What belongs to who? Okay, Avaya? Sam's toy. Sam's toy. And I put that apostrophe S to show that that toy belongs to Sam. Good. Next, I have Frank has a phone. How would I make this a possessive phrase, okay? Sam's phone. Frank's phone. Frank's phone. Good. All right, let's read a couple of words, practice and sound. We still need to know our sound. All right, so Dennis, first word. Can you tell me my sounds and then read the word for me? Hibernate. And okay, what are my sounds? E R. E R. Good. And the word is. Hibernate. Good. Next one, Faith. What are the sounds in this one? Sam. What are the, what are the sounds in this one? S H. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Faith. S H. S H and A R. Good. And the word is. Tarnish. Tarnish. Good. Next one. Avaya sound. A R. Triple A R. Good. One more. E um V E. Not no. Um. O U A. O U. Okay, what's the word? M Mar Marvelous. 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 Good. All right. Next one. All right. I don't know where Hey, bro. Bro. That was in working. Winter. Not us. A A A. Sweater. Of course, you're not going to know it. T is not a sound. Are you answering me back? Bad idea. That's T 
Thor. Instructor. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.